Daily practice is part of Cora Earson's life. Franz Liszt's Spanish Rhapsody is both a challenge and a delight. I started playing the piano with four years, and at the age of eight, I wanted to be a pianist. The piano playing means to me everything. This is my whole life. And everywhere I can see a piano and everywhere I can play a piano, I feel home, safe and warm. Kore Irsen is from the Rhineland in Western Germany. She came to Weimar to study music and liked it so much that she stayed. Her first recommendation is the Widow's Palace, directly across from the National Theatre. Like many Weimar attractions, the Widow's Palace was named after a famous personage, the Dowager Duchess Anna Amalia, who used it as her town home. A patron of the arts, Anna Amalia was the mother of Duke Karl August. The palace's Baroque interior provides a glimpse of the lifestyle of the nobility in the late 17th century. I like this place because here you can feel this amazing times, these artful times where Goethe and Schiller produced so many important things. Musical events, dances and theatre performances were held in the ballroom. Goethe and Anna Amalia both acted in plays here. The pianist's second tip is the Liszt House. Sheet music appears to gently flutter in the breeze, calling forth the memory of the great musician who helped bring about the city's second flowering. In 1869, Liszt moved into the summer house, where he also gave piano instruction. It's also a regular venue for concerts, where Cora Irsen also performs. She's long been passionate about Franz Liszt. The wonderful thing in this room is the piano, the Bechstein piano. Franz Liszt played this piano, and um, when I play the Bechstein, I always close my eyes and imagine how Franz Liszt is sitting here in this room and listening to me. And I also imagine how his pupil, maybe 10 or 20 pupils sitting on the floor, are listening to Franz Liszt when he was talking about the music, about the pupil who played at that time on the piano. Liszt was renowned throughout Europe. Visitors came from far and wide to see him conduct or hear his performances. Beethoven was his great role model. For Cora Irsen, the Liszt House is a place where the history of music comes alive. But Weimar doesn't live by art alone. That's why her third recommendation is a culinary one, Anno 1900. The restaurant opened more than a century ago in the conservatory of a grand hotel. Franz Kafka was one of its prominent guests. Even today, the restaurant still evokes the spirit of that bygone age. Here you can have wonderful lunch or dinner with delicious food. In summer you can sit outside and it's very nice in the evening. On Friday and Saturday you can listen to piano music and it's a very, very nice atmosphere in the evening. An architectural gem filled with music, history and culinary delights. Cora Irsen's three tips for Weimar the Anno 1900 restaurant, the List House, and the Duchess Anna Amalia's Widow's Palace. <laughs> <laughs>